Changing your motor oil is one of the few times you want to work with a warm engine. It helps thin the oil and have it removed easier along with taking the contaminants with it. We're going to start on the four-cylinder engine. The oil filter cartridge housing, green arrow, on the four-cylinder models requires a special socket, yellow arrow, to be removed. Be sure to have one on hand before you begin changing the oil. Using an oil filter socket and an extension, loosen the oil filter housing lid until you can see the O-ring, green arrow. This allows oil in the housing and the filter to drain back into the engine pan. If you do not do this first, you will leave about a liter of engine oil behind. Raise and support the vehicle. Again, if you need assistance with that task, please follow the link provided at the end of the video. Place a drain pan centered directly below the drain plug. Use a 17 millimeter wrench and remove the oil drain plug. Allow the engine oil to drain until it stops dripping. Keep an eye on the oil as it drains. The stream of oil will move and there is a chance it will miss the drain pan. Install the oil drain plug with a new sealing washer and torque to 25 newton meters or 18 foot pounds. Then remove the drain pan from below the vehicle. Remove the oil filter cover and oil filter from the engine. Using a small flathead screwdriver or pick, remove the O-rings from the oil filter cover, indicated by the yellow arrows. Install new O-rings and a new filter. Then torque the filter cover to 25 newton meters or 18 foot-pounds. Fill the engine with oil using the dipstick to attain the correct level. You're going to be looking at around 5 liters. Start the engine, confirm the oil warning light goes out and check for leaks. Shut off the engine and allow the oil to drain to the bottom of the pan for a few minutes. Then pull the dipstick and recheck the oil level. Oil level should be within the areas marked by the green arrows. Let's move on to the six cylinder engines. Using a 36 millimeter socket on an extension, loosen the oil filter housing lid until again you can see the O-ring, green arrow. This allows the oil to drain into the plug. You will also need to safely raise and support your vehicle. Again, please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with that task. Use a 17 millimeter wrench or socket and remove the oil drain plug indicated by the green arrow. Again, keep an eye as the oil drains so it doesn't miss the pan. Once it's all drained, reinstall the drain plug with a new sealing washer and torque to 25 newton meters or 18 foot pounds, then remove the pan. Remove the oil filter cover from the engine and remove the old filter from the cover. This image shows what can happen when a low quality oil filter is used. The filter can collapse and fall apart inside the oil filter housing. If your filter is bent like the one shown, inspect the filter housing and filter cover for oil filter debris. A broken piece of filter will jam and crush the new filter when you tighten the cover. Using a small flathead screwdriver, remove the O-rings from the oil filter cover, yellow arrow. Install a new O-ring and new filter, then torque the filter cover in place at 25 newton meters or 18 foot-pounds. Fill the engine with engine oil using the dipstick to obtain the correct level. Again, start the engine, confirm the oil warning light goes out and check for leaks. Shut off the engine and allow the oil to drain to the bottom of the pan for a few minutes. Then pull the dipstick and recheck the oil level. The oil level should be within the areas marked by the green arrows. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.